<laughs> uh, now it's my pleasure to call upon Her Honor to deliver her remarks today. And we'd also like to invite Ms. Judith Lawrence and Karen Prell to join her as well with their puppets. If we ask nicely enough, maybe Casey and Finnegan will be. It was very hard to get Casey and Finnegan here. Karen's a little easier to uh, corral. <laughs> But Fraggle Rock, Casey, and Finnegan, when I was 10, and that's only a couple years ago, mm -hmm. my f very favorite puppets. You, you're a good man, Jeremy. Oh, thank you. Yes. That just kind of tells you how old this guy is, <laughs> but we won't go there. I guess it's time to go away. Go. <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, okay. Okay. Good afternoon. This is going to be a tough gig. <laughs> I've never been upstaged by a puppet before. <laughs> it's a real honor to be on the stage with these folks today. So, Mr. Gosley and parade marshals, Pearson College students and leaders getting higher choir, Mr. Taylor and the La La dancers, the marimba kids, puppets and puppeteers, friends of Government House and neighbors, welcome to this wonderful day of Puppets for Peace. <laughs> the International Day of Peace was first established in 1981 by Resolution 3637 of the United Nations General Assembly and first celebrated in September 1982. One of my heroes, Mahatma Gandhi, said, and I quote, if we are to create peace in our world, we must begin with our children. Today we do just that as we follow the children. Last year, 2013, the International Peace Day was dedicated to peace education, a force to unite people, nations, and cultures for a sustainable future. And this year's theme is the right of peoples to peace. The late Eleanor Roosevelt said, it isn't enough to talk about peace, one must believe in it and it isn't enough to believe in it. One must work at it. So how do we work at peace? What can we do right here in British Columbia, and in fact, right here today in this beautiful garden? It really is quite simple. Mother Teresa said, peace begins with a smile. And we all know that if we just begin with the S, we find that Miles is just behind. I was a very poor speller, so I didn't discover that secret until just recently. <laughs> there is another quote I think is appropriate for today by Albert Einstein. Peace cannot be kept by force. It can only be achieved by understanding. I believe that the secret to understanding is simple openness. Open our eyes to truly see one another. Open our ears to truly hear one another. And open our minds to truly understand one another. And then we will find that our hearts will automatically open to love one another. I'd like to end with one last quote by, by Carlos Santana. <laughs> that age. The most valuable possession you can own is an open heart. The most powerful weapon you can be is an instrument of peace. Have a wonderful visit to our peaceful garden and may peace prevail on earth.
that played at Woodstock.